Hey guys, it's Carl. So I just got back from my very first hands-on with the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip or Z, Z, Z. I can never remember which one's that Canadian. Z Flip 5, obviously a Samsung's new flipping phone. And it's actually a bit different, obviously, from last year. And it's really different from the Galaxy Z Fold 5, which obviously uh, came out at the exact same time. So looking at the flip phone first, this is brand new because of that new cover display. And actually Samsung has changed the name from cover screen to the flex window, which is essentially that front screen uh, which displays all that info. So obviously a lot larger now, kind of in line with what we see uh, from brands like Oppo with the full uh, front facing screen. So 3.4 inches, it's super AMOLED Gorilla Glass Victus, and it actually has this uh, small little cutout that wraps around the uh, two front facing cameras, or I guess rear facing when you fully open the device. So those cameras are still the same, both 12 megapixels, that's both the wide and ultra wide, but the pro grade sensor for night photography has improved more on that uh, a bit later on but the actual uh, front cover screen because it's gotten so much larger you can now actually do a ton of different things obviously other than glancing at uh, the pre-installed widgets that come on the device if you want to actually show some of the specified apps like launch YouTube launch Netflix you have to go within the lab settings it's kind of buried in the setting system in uh, the Samsung phone or in the flip phone where you have to select show apps on the front flex window screen and then from there you can launch specific apps you can actually message from there you get a full QWERTY keyboard you've got a full dial pad if you want to make a phone call it's just a lot more usable now it's not the biggest though that I've seen on a front cover screen we do have the likes of Motorola with the entire display or the entire front cover being a display and the cutouts are literally just the two camera circles obviously Samsung went a bit more um, traditional a bit more conservative you have that weird little jut out which uh, leaves some space for those at uh, camera sensors but anyways that's the biggest change coming to the Z Flip 5, that nice little cover screen, so a lot more interactive. The second biggest thing, and this kind of applies both to the Flip as well as the Fold, is the redesign of the hinge. So one of the biggest issues I thought with the uh, Flip 4 and the Fold 4 before that, they had a tiny little gap between the uh, hinge mechanism because it didn't go completely flush. So this time around, to match what once again, Oppo is doing a lot of other flip or foldable devices. They have a new hinge mechanism, which means that the phone is completely flush or completely uh, closed when you actually snap it shut. So nothing like dust, little bits of sand or weird little things can get into the display and potentially, I guess, harm or scratch the device. It's uh, a lot more uh, compact. The phones themselves actually feel quite a bit lighter than um, the previous gen as well. And in turn, the phone is quite a bit thinner, quite a bit more uh, pocketable. It just makes it easier to kind of hold in hand. And obviously uh, when you flip that open, you've got a 6.7 inch display. It's got an aspect ratio because it's slightly taller, 2640 by 1080. It's got HDR 10 plus, 120 Hertz refresh rate, 1200 nits. It's a great display to use. But like I said, you now have that option to use that uh, flex window display as a sole display um, altogether. Um, it really depends how you use your device. If you like to flip open your device, that's obviously uh, completely up to you. I will say one of the most interesting things um, now that we have that full display, and you can obviously use that to take, uh, say, selfies with the device. And in all honesty, I find more and more with flipping phones that have those front screens, cover screens, flex window screens, whatever you want to call them, how many times you actually fold or flip it open to use the larger display on the inside. How many times are you going to do that versus how many times can you just get by with the front screen? Obviously, uh, you can kind of figure that out if you are a flipping or folding phone fan. Samsung's now just finally made the front screen so good that you can kind of use those inside screens less and less, which I think kind of defeats the purpose of a flipping phone. You kind of want to flip it open to use it, but obviously, uh, like I said, that's completely up to you. One weird thing that I did find with the um, the Flip 5, because it's got those two cameras on the front. Theoretically, now you can take a full selfie that will show what you're using those rear or front facing cameras for. And because of the orientation of those cameras is technically on the bottom of the device, you can hold it out in front of you, obviously take a selfie, but because those cameras are so low, you will see your hand. So you should theoretically kind of flip it around so the cameras are on top. Plus the shutter button is one of the volume buttons on the side that makes it so much more usable. But technically now the phone is upside down and when you're launching the camera app from that front screen, you have to then turn the camera around to take um, that selfie. So slightly, slightly weird ergonomically. Maybe that's just one of the 
little hiccups or little flaws that I found. The second thing which still kind of not really bothered me, but it caught my eye was the flipping area or the foldable area inside the, uh, the flipping screen. So a lot of other brands have really taken care to make that uh, crease less noticeable. I didn't find that with the Z or Z Flip 5, to be honest. It still was pretty pronounced, especially off angle. You can really see that, uh, that crease technically quite a bit. For the rest of the build, because that flex window or that front screen is pretty much all display now, the only area of color on the phone is technically on the back. So it comes in four different colorway options. There's the new blue, which is the new flagship color, which is also available on the Z Fold 5, which uh, was my favorite. They also have the off-white slash cream. Of course, the black, which is a bit mirrored, and the purple. And I can't remember if they've officially called that lavender, but you've got the four different color options and along the uh, aluminum railing around the outside, that color kind of matches what uh, device color that you got. But because of that front display being all display now, that's a bit of a tongue twister. You've got uh, less colors. It's now more two-tone because uh, obviously the black versus the color option that you would get. Let me know uh, your fave down below. For the rest of the internals, because uh, we're upgrading chipsets, it's now rocking the latest uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform. It is either eight or 12 gigs of RAM, depending on your spec. The base model still starts at 128 gigs, whereas when you look to the Z Fold 5, that one does come with uh, larger storage options as the base. That's one of the main advantages of having the larger uh, folding device, if that's your jam. But uh, in terms of battery, 3,700 milliamps, still limited to uh, 25 watts of wired charging. You'll get at around 50% in around 30 minutes and 15 watts for wireless charging. So overall, my use of it, uh, it's been a great phone. It's finally kind of caught up to other flipping phones that I feel have surpassed the Z Flip 4, especially when you hold them side by side. You really see how dated the, uh, the Z Flip, the Z Flip 4 uh, kind of looks. It just looks a bit uh, weird and antiquated with the small, tiny, cover screen, flex window screen, I guess what it's called now. Obviously that uh, no gap design with the new and improved hinge, I think kind of brings it up to standards. So if you're a big fan of the flipping devices, I think the best time to grab one is obviously now. This was a pretty big uh, overhaul for that. And um, if you wanna catch my next video, which was on the Z Flip 5, I can never get that right, Z, Z, Z. I'll look that up for next video, stick around. I'll leave it linked up this way. That was Z Flip 5, hope you enjoyed it. Peace.